Welcome back to the extension of Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and CurrentIdies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with Categorical Logic Fallacies, looking at the exclusive premises fallacy. This is going to be a fallacy for those categorical syllogisms that do not follow rule number three. So we remember rule number three is that at least one premise must be affirmative. So a syllogism is going to commit this fallacy if both of its premises are negative. Let's take a look. Figure 1 EOO is going to commit the fallacy because no basketball is so sharp. Some pointy things are not basketballs. Therefore, some pointy things are not sharp. Clearly, this is going to commit the fallacy because E and O statements are both going to be negative. So, we're not going to be go, able to go anywhere with this argument. Therefore, it commits the fallacy of exclusive premises. Figure 4 EEE. -E -E, no planets are garbage cans, no garbage cans are gas giants, therefore, no gas giants are planets. Once again, this is going to commit the fallacy of exclusive premises, and therefore, be invalid. That was the exclusive premises fallacy. Let's remember a fallacy for rule number three. Next up, we'll be looking at double fallacy, affirmative from a negative and negative from an affirmative. That's going to be the fallacy for rule number four. And we will finally be revisiting for a third time the existential fallacy as it applies to categorical syllogisms and how it is a fallacy for rule number five. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.